What's up, Hustlers? It's your boy JT Hustles back in with another video. Yo, yo, shout out to JT Hustles for teaching people how to become entrepreneurs on YouTube and all over social media. Continue the good work, my brother. JT Hustles. <laughs> this video is part two of if I showed you how to make five figures a month working for yourself, could you do it? I'm disappointed. Giving you the blueprint to get it out here and you don't want to do what it takes. Alright hustlers, so now it's the next day. You guys just seen part one. Uh, it is 8, 10 a.m. Uh, my cousin is upstairs showering, getting ready. Uh, and today we're doing something totally different. So Mike, how you doing? I was just calling to let you know I'm about to jump on the road and bring my cousin up to the new building to, uh, to do whatever, whatever need to get done today. All right, hustlers, so I'm at the old location for Appliance Boot Camp. This is where it'll be up until the end of the year. While I'm here, I got my cousin over at the new location of Appliance Boot Camp, just working on that. So what I need to do now is use the Wi-Fi really quickly. I'm actually editing part one of the video that you guys have already seen by the time this came out. I'll see you guys when I get back over to the shop. Peace. Yo, yo, you just lied. This whole side done. Oh, so you think you gonna get this this up before it's time to go? Possibly. Uh, I like shit. I got the shop now. Cousin is getting it in. Um, but what I want to show you guys is something that's across the street actually across the street You see another building right here, right? It's actually two buildings connected. I'll get you up close to that here in a second We won't put their name in there, but we'll put the totals in there So I'm gonna get the address for it And I'm gonna go see if anybody down at the county can tell me anything about the building and we'll go from there I went to the local city office and they actually said that i have to go down to the county office to find out about the taxes related to that building but i'm cutting it kind of close for time so i gotta go get the kids and take them to trunk or treat so we're going to pick this up tomorrow and see if we can get an answer about that other building the next day so now we back at the house i'm about to change really quickly and then we're going to head up towards mike way cousin is downstairs and i've also actually Put this away, got off the phone with my accountant, and he just taught me something that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, teach my cousin as well. Whether he applies it now or in the future, it's something that I knew about, but I just didn't know exactly how to do it. So this is not uh, legal advice or accounting advice or anything like that, but um, this is just from my accountant. Before you try to do it, talk to your accountant and make sure everything is good. Man, I just talked to my accountant, man. This is something that he just taught me about moving money around. So. He was like, man, you know how one business can loan money to another business. Like the bank ain't nothing but a business, but they can give you a business loan with interest. Right. You can do the same thing with your own money. But he was like, this is the key right here, though. He was like, man, you got to give a promissory note from you to your business if you're going to do it as an individual or from one business to another business. But if you file taxes and this business lent the money out to this other business, Now we're back at the new appliance boot camp building. Go and let my cousin set up everything he needs, get back to work on uh, just finishing up on the floor. I'm gonna try to make it to the county office to find out about that real estate around the corner. 11 minutes later. Found out some unbelievable information about the building, but I got to talk to Sneed before I really speak on it since he's right around the corner. I'm getting two different stories about that property that's right around the corner. So one story that I'm getting is that it was condemned because it needs a new roof 
and some windows but if i'm willing to bring it up the standard then uh the city has no problem with uncondemning the building the second story is that it is an old dry cleaner business and i have confirmed that for sure it used to be a dry cleaning business but they're saying some kind of chemicals were released in there and now the epa has to go out there and do their thing and decide if it's safe uh for anybody to go inside that building or not so uh either it just needs a roof and some windows or you gotta wait for epa to go through there and say if it's even safe for anybody to go in and do work or do anything with the building so i'm unsure about which one of those stories are correct the locals are saying that it's an epa issue the city office it's saying that it's the roof and the windows. So I don't really know which one is which. My cousin that's here, uh, I'm really trying to figure out what are his natural strengths. Everybody has a natural strength with the online business. Uh, it's, it's pretty technical, I'll be honest with you. It's not invariably technical and it's not anything that everybody can't learn that's willing to put the time in. However, it is a little bit technical when you gotta think about image quality, writing descriptions, pricing optimizing those listings to make sure that your sell through rate stays consistent and you're making the money that you want to be making with it when this kind of work is more just labor intensive get simple instructions uh can you handle it now honestly when you talk about skills for the open market not the job market those more technical things that require you to think for yourself and be able to make good decisions those opportunities usually are more lucrative than the just grunt work i do want him to be able to do both i think that it's way easier to build on your strengths than it is to improve your weaknesses especially early on so if he gravitates more towards just the simple grunt work then i am planning on getting my pest control license that style of work may be something that naturally fits him better than any of the technical stuff at this point in time i really don't know right because his first day doing the online stuff everybody would have it a little bit rough if you've never done it before um and since this kind of work is more line to his job experience that's probably why he excels at it nevertheless i just want to fill them out on both so we're going to do more online stuff together and of course a little bit more here and then once i fill them out a little bit better that'll let me know uh what strengths he naturally has and we'll line up what it is i'm gonna have him do with his strengths now let's go in and see how the building looks so far
now we back at the crib. Honestly, today has been kind of like a boring day, pretty slow day. But uh, I don't want to try to add any like special effects or anything crazy in the vlog just to make it more entertaining only because i want you guys to see how it really was so this was my day pretty slow day um outside of that came home to a package in the mail so uh got the new iphone 11 as a christmas gift that was pretty much my day um but for the benefit of everybody that watched this entire vlog this long what i'm doing now is i'm updating hustle academy there'll be linked to it down below and now the way that me and Mike have decided to do it is that there's going to be three options when it comes to appliance boot camp. And I'm pretty sure that me and Ontario is going to do this the same way too in Hustle Academy where you can pay for just the live event. You can pay for just the online course or you can pay more for both of them. So now if you're somebody out there that wants to come to appliance boot camp and you want access to the online course and to the live event, then uh, we don't have the exact dates yet for next year but i'm going to go ahead and update it in hustle academy now and then as we get dates i'll go ahead and update it again with the new dates you guys know how these things sell out so if you want to be guaranteed a spot in the very first uh open date that we have outside of i think we're already booking now for january but uh once the building is finished and you want to get in those early classes next year but you also want to have access to the online stuff for reference material then that's in hustle academy now and you guys will be the first to know this because you watch this whole vlog but until next time so i'm a hustler stay hustling jt hustles i'm gone